Hi, today we're going to be replacing the front wheel hub assembly on this 2003 Hummer H2. Um, the 2003 through 2007 H2s tend to eat the front right wheel hub assembly, so you need to constantly be watching out for that issue. Um, they are basically built on a Chevy slash GMC 2500 truck um, uh, suspension system, so you'll find GMC pickups and other four-wheel drives and Chevrolet uh, 2003 through 2007 have the exact same problem. Uh, we're going to be replacing the factory OEM front wheel assembly with this Moog um, assembly. I personally recommend uh, Moog or Timken. Uh, the uh, factory ones uh, tend to fail quicker and you don't want to go with the cheap ones because uh, they're worse than the factory ones. So again, Moog or Timken are my recommended two models and they come with significant warranties, three years or better. Alright, after you have the wheel off, uh, the next thing I like to do is take off that center nut. Um, it will take a standard 1 and 7 16 socket. Um, it's probably a metric. It doesn't fit perfectly, but it will work. Uh, you can probably figure out the conversion online. But uh, as long as your vehicle is in four-wheel drive low at this point, um, it should be able to break through from the axle uh, without much trouble. Alright, after I've uh, broken the center axle nut loose, I uh, tend to remove the calipers. Uh, the calipers are not uh, attached by this bolt. They're actually attached by this bolt uh, in the back right here. Uh, it takes a 21 millimeter socket and there's only two of them, one farther down below. Alright, now that I've removed the caliper, what I like to do is uh, take the ABS uh, wires out. That's this wire right here it just disconnects uh, right along the frame behind the pillar for the shock you can just disconnect it right here because um, you get a new one with it and then I take my caliper and so it's not stressing on this hose anymore I tie it up on the shock out of the way so it won't bust my fingers when it falls down which it always does alright now that I have secured my caliper up out of the way I've removed the ABS uh, sensor wiring we're now going to take the actual hub off. On the back of the hub, there are four bolts. Uh, you can see them right here, excuse me, right here, and one below it. Uh, they take a um, 15 millimeter socket. You will find that these are torqued on pretty heavily. If you want to look at the uh, new, new one to see the reference on the back side of this, you can see where the four bolts go. So make those off and we'll get back to you. Alright, now that you've taken out the four bolts on the back of the hub assembly, it's time to take out the remaining part of the center uh, axle bolt so that you can remove it. If for some reason the um, rotor does not want to come off, there are two holes right here and here that you can thread uh, bolts into and it will force the rotor to come off. So it ends up that this rotor was uh, fused on here so all I did was put a bolt here and put a bolt here like I mentioned earlier screw them in and now it is loose. Now that the uh, hub assembly has been removed as you can see it comes out with the uh, ABS wires. I don't I don't reuse these but you can if you take it out there with that uh, single bolt right there and then uh, you can reuse them but uh, most of the time your new hub assembly will come with a new one uh, so I recommend using the new ones. Um, now that the hub assembly is out uh, I recommend cleaning the interior surface here. Um, I use a little brake cleaner and then put a little light bit of grease along the inside edge. Remember, as I said earlier, uh, if you have a dust shield like this one, make sure you know what position it's in, take a picture with your mobile phone or something, and then you can put it back in. All right, time to reassemble. 
All right, time to reassemble. Now the bolts on the back of this uh, unit are anywhere from 133 pounds to 170 pounds, depending on which one we're talking about. Now the ones that go on the actual hub, I really recommend you use some Loctite. Um, I use red, other people use blue on this application. I don't think it really matters that much one or the other for this because uh, it's not necessarily called for. It's an extra added attempt. But uh, just put it back together in reverse of what we just showed you. Um, like I said, I put a little bit of grease on the inside ring. There's a rubber ring in there. It keeps it from getting torn up as you reassemble. Um, slide it back on. I put the four bolts on the back of the hub assembly on with the Loctite. And then um, after that, um, I reassemble the caliper bolts. All right, I've assembled the hub uh, with the four bolts on the back, torqued them to the right amount, and put some Loctite on them. Um, I then tightened the axle nut, which you can see, um, and I'm about to put on the rotor, followed by the caliper, and then the electrical ABS sensor wire. Okay, and that's it. Uh, we've tightened down the caliper bolts, we've tightened down the hub bolts, we've tightened down the axle nut, and we have restrung the ABS uh, wire and connected it. Now the only thing to do is put the tire and wheel back on, take it for a test drive. Uh, using only hand tools, this should take you about two hours. Uh, if you take your time, maybe three. Hope this helped.